All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Havashai, by Shem Kakudash. Bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Havashai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Havashai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son, who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names. And the last one, Kudash, the ancient Hebrew. The honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. And blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson. Through the spirit of Papi Ha'ba Shema Shai. The title I'm going to give this lesson is, The Fire is Most Beneficial. Okay, the fire is most beneficial. All right, we need the hardening and the trying of our faith now so we can endure the days ahead. Okay, so the fire is most beneficial. And I want to build off of this quote right here. Okay, um, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Okay, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Okay, which is a proverb, which the meaning of it is challenging, challenging experiences, right? Which, you know, of course, in this truth, we have many challenging experiences, which the word experience means to be tried out. Challenging experiences are the most educational and thus ultimately the most beneficial. Okay, so these challenging experiences that we faced, all right, we're learning so much from it. We're learning so much about ourselves, learning so much about Yahweh Bashim Shai, all right, and, and his process. And thus, ultimately, it's the most beneficial, okay, because there's so many things that Yahweh Bashim Shai is doing with us inwardly, okay? The Lord is <clears throat> adding to us so much inwardly to where we're able to make it to the end, we're able to endure until the end, okay? So once again, a smooth sea never made a skilled seller, okay? Challenging experiences are the most educational and thus ultimately the most beneficial, okay? And I'm gonna start with um, Hebrews 12 and five. It says, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Right, you know, the, the things that we face, the hardships, this is the chastening of the Lord. This, this is proof that the Lord is dealing with you. The Lord loves you. The Lord chasteneth whom, whom he loveth. Let me keep reading. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. All right, so if you're a servant of Yahweh Shai, you're going to be chastised. Okay, and that's going to manifest in different ways. <clears throat> All right, you're going to be placed on that straight gate. Okay, which straight means a difficult position. All right, but <clears throat> the chastening steers us in the right direction, developing in us the spiritual strengths that we need to finish this journey. Okay, so the Lord is adding unto us so many things inwardly, you know, as we, as we, uh, you know, um, continue on this path. It says, if you endure chastening, which we know the elect will, the most high deal with you as, as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastening or chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected, corrected us, and we gave them reverence, Shall we not much more rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Okay, so there is a benefit too, you know, just dealing on the fleshly level, you know, when a father or a mother is disciplining their child. There's so many things that that child is going to benefit uh, from that correction, okay? And he's not necessarily going to appreciate it until he's, he's older, all right? And he sees the, di the discipline and the, uh, the integrity that he's gained from that and other things, of course. So how much more Yahweh Shemel Shai when he corrects us? It says, for they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit. You see, the fire is most beneficial. It's something to gain from this, that we might be partakers of his holiness, right? The trials come with the territory of the truth, man. That's why a lot of guys uh, end up falling away. You know, they get scorched from the heat that, uh, you know, that you got to deal with being in, in this truth. 
is, is the point. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous, right? It, it ain't, it ain't, uh, it don't feel good. You know, you touch anything hot, it's going to burn you. So the Lord, um, you know, this chastening, this inflation that we face, it don't feel good, but it's grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, so there's much to gain from the trials. Okay. Um, the Lord strengthening our inner man. I want to read this in the NLT. So this is Romans 5 and 3 NLT. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us develop endurance. Okay, and that's the name of the game, endurance. Okay, so these problems and trials develop within us endurance. And endurance develops strength of character. And character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. You see? So the Lord is molding us through these trials. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. For we know how dearly the Most High loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Okay, so this hope that we hold on to is not going to lead to disappointment. Okay, the Lord said if we endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we believe in that. Or we must believe in that. Okay, now let's go from there to 1 Peter. <clears throat> First Peter 1 and 6, NLT. It says, so be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while, right? And we got to have that tunnel vision. We got to have that, um, we got to remember what's ahead. You know, don't get caught up in the right now. Don't get caught up in the trials. Understand the sacrifice that you're making. Understand the goal, okay? So be, so be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. Right? The scriptures say, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Okay? So there's many trials that we had to endure, you know, as we uh, continue on this path. It says, it says, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. Right? Because if here it is, you're going through all these ups and downs, and you're still holding on to your faith. That's that's the... That's the uh, uh, a sign that you truly believe, okay? And the men that fall away, they don't really believe. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests, uh, test and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory in honor on the day when Yahweh Shai is revealed to the whole world, right? Because you're going to be saved. You're going to be one of those souls that are delivered, okay? And you're going to be crowned by Yahweh Shai himself, okay? So our, our faith has to be strong through many trials, okay? Let's go to KJV. So this is Isaiah 48 and 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, right? Because that's what the fire is doing. It's refining us. It's purifying us. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Okay? Um, the scriptures tell you plainly, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So us going through this fire is the only way that we're going to become acceptable in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, and that's that's all we hope for. All right, so we're being refined. When you look at the word refined in Edom Online, it says to bring or reduce to a pure state or a condition of purity as full as possible. So we're being brought to a pure state. You know, we're being refined. We're being purified. Like the scriptures tell us, Yahweh Shai was made perfect through the sufferings. Okay, so this is a, this, 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 the, um, the fire is most beneficial, okay? Because the Lord is developing within us a mighty spiritual strengths. This is Job 23 and 10. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold, okay? And that fire is going to prove whether you go, whether you stubble, whether you this, whether you that, all right? But we know the elect is gold, 
We know the elect is not going to be separated through the trials. Let's read the NLT and close it. NLT says, but he knows where I'm going. And when he tests me, I will come out as pure gold. Okay, so that's 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 what we hope for, that, you know, that we can hold on and stay strong through our, our, our test, the many trials that we face, you know, being in this fire. Okay, but it's the most beneficial. All right, a smooth sea never made a skilled seller. All right, so the Lord is, you know, creating faithful or he has created faithful servants. He has created strong, faithful servants, man, through this uh, fire. So the Lord's was edifying. The fire is most beneficial, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Until next time, Shalom.